Today's Bible study is titled Waiting for the Hope of Righteousness by Faith. Paul has just told the Galatian believers, and us, to stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and further shown that liberty in Christ is quite literally the very fiber of what Christ has given us. He then showed that his freedom from the yoke of bondage, law, and warned against becoming entangled. Now Paul will make some statements about those who choose bondage over standing fast in liberty that are very difficult the unlearned in grace as he continues from the conclusion of Galatians 5 verse 1. Behold, I Paul say unto you, that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Galatians 5 verses 2 to 5. Let's deal with this in a rightly divided fashion. Before we deal with verses 2 through 4, we should first look at where Paul started, namely Galatians 5 verse 1, Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage, and his conclusion in Galatians 5 verse 5, For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, we should understand what is there by bookend. We'll come back to this. Paul says to those of the circumcision and their apparent converts within the Galatian churches, If ye be circumcised, or seek any other point of the law, then Christ shall profit you nothing, and you are a debtor to do the whole law, and further, Christ is become of no effect unto you. Such ones would be such as would frustrate the grace of God, remembering, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Galatians 2 verse 21 Given this, we certainly know by the preponderance of Paul's writings that, for one who has believed the gospel of the death, burial, resurrection of Christ and thereby been sealed with the earnest of the Spirit, an actual falling from grace is impossible as our continuance in grace depends, not on us, but on God. So, for the grace gospel believers, this can only show them the pointlessness of voluntarily seeking to please God or control sin by the law, ministry of condemnation, and in process of seeking to place themselves under the law, the benefits of being, living in Christ would essentially be forfeit in their experience, example, of no profit or of no effect to the one who would so choose. Essentially such a choice made it to where Christ shall profit you nothing in life thereby. His continuing statement then qualifies the balance of his audience for his continued statement saying, Whosoever of you are justified by the law, or better are seeking to be justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace, or better grace is of no benefit to you for the living and further you are, a debtor to do the whole law not just the parts you want. Such have not lost their salvation, but rather the benefits thereof for the living. We must remember that, regardless of what had happened since, Paul laid the foundation of the mystery gospel of the grace of God, and most if not all of his intended audience were likely saved by grace as a result. The only ones among the Galatians not saved by grace would likely be more recent so-called converts of the circumcision, kingdom gospel preachers, teachers, and certainly if there were such they were still in their sins as this was a gospel that was not another. Lastly, we know that, for the most part, he is talking to believers when he concludes, for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, as this clearly defines the hope of such as are saved by God's grace and thereby incapable of losing what God accomplished by the faith of Jesus Christ and their simple belief by grace through faith. 
What lies in between must be understood by the bookends of Galatians 5 verse 1 and 5. Believer, through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, and do not invite the ministry of condemnation, that is the law of Moses, into your life as a believer. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.